Still neck and neck in the race for the next Milwaukee police chief, Wednesday I spoke with both candidates, Dallas Police Department Major Malik Aziz and Milwaukee native FBI Supervisory Special Agent Hoyt Mahaley. What are you going to bring to the table that can change the way Milwaukee police police our communities? We should sit down, uh, have dialogue, and in dialogue comes compromise and negotiation, uh, and we stop talking to each other and talk to each other. Uh, and then that's when we start to rebuild that foundation of trust between police and community. I'm going to do a threat analysis on all the major threats in the city. And we're going to find out what are the core reasons. What is the root of the problem? And then we're going to address that root. You're not from Milwaukee. You're, you're in Dallas. Do you think you can step into the position of chief of police here in Milwaukee, hit the ground running, be able to gain that trust from the community when you're on the other side of the country? Milwaukee felt just like Dallas in a lot of ways. With all the challenges that are ahead of us uh, in policing, uh, I think I have something to offer uh, to a great city like Milwaukee uh, to help us uh, in a team environment uh, get to a, a goal that is uh, that spells out uh, progressiveness. How are you going to be able to step into a chief of police position if you've never even worked within the police department. I've been working with police officers for 28 years. A third of the department's investigators are task force officers. I've built task forces. It's just a, a, it's a different level of investigation. It's a different style of investigation. And I, use, I plan to use those skill sets that I've learned there and bring back to the Milwaukee Police Department. Now, hopefully it doesn't happen, but if the FPC votes and ties again tonight, then the FPC says that it would postpone another vote, perhaps until a vacant tie-breaking seat on the commission is filled. Reporting outside of City Hall where that vote will take place tonight, I'm Caroline Reinwald, WYSN 12 News. Something we'll be following today. There is a third candidate, Christopher Davis, who did not receive any votes the first time around. He's still eligible for the job.